Hi folks, today I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how to build up the MWS M4 adapter. Um, first things first, you're going to want to get a donor mag. It will need to be made by Marui. They have a few different styles, um, namely the shorter ones and the Type 89 mags. Either one is good. Let's get started. You're going to want to knock out these two pins here. Now they are centrally knurled, so you can knock those out from either side. Now as you knock out the second pin, if you get it most of the way, put your hand over the top of the mag, as it does tend to shoot apart, and then just wiggle that out. And you can actually separate out everything you don't need. Once you've separated the top half of the magazine from the shell, you're going to want to remove three pins. That's the two pins for the feed lips and this pin here, which is for the valve knocker. The middle pin removes quite easily. You can discard that. Also remove this pin at the front and then the pin for the valve knocker, which is knurled, so that'll take a bit more of a a hit. And that's the valve knocker which you won't need either. You will need this pin here which was holding in the valve knocker. We'll use that when we're building the adapter back up. Once the valve knocker is removed, you're going to want to remove the valve. Uh, you can do that using a valve key. I'd imagine most gas blowback users have one. If not, we sell them on the site, but you can also get them from most airsoft shops. Now, what you're looking at in front of you is the four parts that you're going to need to build up your adapter. So these are the four parts that you will have separated out from your MWS magazine. The next step will be to take the MWS M4 adapter and install the valve into the back of it you want to drop a small amount of lubricant onto the middle o-ring of the valve and then go ahead and install that into the adapter now before we ship each adapter we do drop a valve in ourselves just to check the seal um, which means you're pretty much guaranteed to have a seal as long as you insert the valve correctly if you get it in until it's sort of finger tight there'll be no need to really go for it. However, there is a metal valve collar in there so you won't be able to strip the threads either. You're then going to want to pressure test the adapter before you put the valve knocker in. So I'm just going to connect it up here. Now I can hear that it's leaking which means I haven't seated the valve quite in enough. So I will disconnect it from pressure and give it a tighten. Connect again, and there we go, all good. Now that we know that's sealing perfectly, we can install the valve knocker behind it. This is a small part that we include with the kit, which just allows the MWS valve knocker to work with our adapter. You'll take the large three millimeter pin that you stripped from your mag and just gently pop it in. The only thing left now is to pop the feed lips on. You can then use the two included screws to gently get that fitted. Now that is the adapter built up and ready to go. To run you through a few of the features, there's a small shim at the rear. You can remove that if you have larger spec M4 mags. I'd recommend keeping it in for the PTS, EPMs, EPM1s, etc. 
Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we have a metal feed tube in there. And what you can see, that green piece is a BB latch, which prevents them from dropping out.